So this time video not about the horsepower speed uh, north uh, 100 km per hour but uh, really about uh, how far you can drive with a uh, hybrid uh, plug-in hybrid car uh, without any drop of petrol. So this is 2018 BMW 540e and uh, it is fully charged uh, by now. Uh, this night it was quite cold, minus 1 degrees of Celsius. Here in my location now you see it's plus 10. Uh, we have 24 kilometers uh, of uh, range. The car is preheated. I switched on uh, Eco Pro and Max E Drive modes. And we will try to drive uh, my regular route. Uh, this is from my home uh, to my kids' school and to the office. So let's uh, let's uh, start doing that. Uh, all the things, uh, all the gauges are reset. And just immediately after starting drive, uh, I see that range dropped to 23 kilometers uh, after one minute drive. Most likely it's because of uh, climate control, because the core is heating itself. And we're driving further, the range dropped uh, to 21 kilometers, but uh, actually driven only one kilometer. So in total it's 22, uh, and it seems that uh, the initial uh, 24 kilometers were not correct. I'm driving in a city, on the regular roads, uh, on a loud speed, which is maximum in this route is 80 kilometers per hour. And uh, as you see, we have done by now uh, 7 kilometers in 11 minutes, uh, and uh, the range dropped as well. Now we are approaching uh, my kids' school and uh, this is the first uh, waypoint uh, on my daily commute. So let's see how we will do there and uh, this is now 9 kilometers driven, 14 minutes of driving and uh, let's see uh, what is the remaining range of the battery um, yes so the remaining range is 16 kilometers and uh, 9 driven so 25 in total so somehow the total uh, amount increased from those 24 let's try what is the effect of climate control let's switch it on let's switch it off uh, climate control switched off and we just added uh, four kilometers but it's quite uncomfortable to drive without uh, climate control so let's switch it on back and, uh, and the range dropped now we are approaching my office and in total 15 kilometers driven so here i have a charging cable uh, which is charging my car in two and a half hours so let's park the car and see what is the result of our journey. So we drove from home to school and to the office and the remaining range is 11 kilometers. And we drove 15 kilometers in total. So it's quite enough for daily commute. Uh, I can charge the car here and go back to school and home without any problem with a full electric. Let's see what will happen if I need to go to the center of the city to have a customer meeting or something like that. So here we are approaching the center of Vilnius, which is um, the heart of the city. And uh, we still have 6 kilometers of range and we have done 21 kilometers. You can easily charge here somewhere in uh, public parking and uh, Spending some one or two hours where you can again charge the car half or, or even fully and come come back to the office or, or, or home without any problem. So let's see what e drive shows for us. Uh, uh, the battery is uh, half empty. Um, most of the time we used electric power and about one third. The car was charging itself from, from braking 
and uh, here we are approaching uh, the end of the battery it's already less than one kilometer of range and uh, totally we uh, have driven 27 kilometers in 49 minutes and uh, it's about to, to, to the end um, the battery soon should go off and the max uh, e-drive mode will go off as well and we will switch to auto e-drive so wait for it I don't know I will reach 28 kilometers uh, there or not uh, but it's already more than initial 24 kilometers uh, we had uh, while starting our journey so uh, the total consumption zero 27 kilometers 49 minutes uh, and uh, our battery is empty now I'll stop and then um, we will see more parameters so the battery is empty uh, the engine petrol engine is cold it was uh, not started uh, and the total electric range 137 kilometers uh, from the last uh, fueling and we have done 28 kilometers in 51 minutes and the petrol engine just uh, started let's see what will happen uh, when we will go home uh, it will go mostly on petrol but uh, still some batteries remaining uh, which will be used for either e-boost or uh, electric drive in really low speeds so in total 25% of the time the car was charging itself from braking that's not bad in such a flat city as, uh, as Vilnius and here we are back home 2.6 liters uh, uh, and the another port was driven on petrol 142 kilometers in electric range in total from last uh, refuel and uh, that's it quite impressive 2.6 liters